Hey everybody, it's Dave here. Welcome to Digital Doxology, and today I'm going to be talking about the Tascam 24 track Digital Port Studio. This baby right here. And I've had some questions from different people on things, so I'm just going to do a video to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you how to actually record a song, and then I'm going to mix the song down, and I'm going to show you how to master it on the Tascam and then how to save it and transfer it over to a laptop or a desktop. It's really pretty easy, but there are some step-by-step -step procedures that I'm going to go through and show you what things you might need, what kind of cables you might need to have on hand in order to do that. Hey, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell off to the side so you'll be notified when I put out more videos in the future. All right, so here we go. Tascam 24 track digital Porta studio. I create a song on the Tascam 24, mix it down, master it, and export it to a laptop. Let's go. All right, the first thing you want to do, turn on your Tascam right here where it says standby and on behind the rotary dial is a power button you're going to hold that in for about five seconds and then let it go then the screen will come on now if you're just starting out and you're not used to the tascam you're going to want to make sure you get an sd card the sd card is going to be right here behind the where it says equalizer just push in there and there's my sd card so if you don't have an sd card yet you want to make sure you get an SD card. This is the type of card you want to get for the uh, Tascam. Now, I've heard some people use a 64 gigabyte or bigger. I just stick with 32s because they're pretty cheap. And you insert it in there, and then it'll pick up that you have a card. If this is the first time that you're using a brand new SD card, then it will ask you to format it. You can also format it by going into the menu and using the rotary dial to go through where it says SD format. And then you hit the button right there and just use a quick format. If you've had a card that you use in a camera or another device, then you want to do the full format. Or if it's a card that you've been using for a while and you've transferred all the files that are on the card to your computer and you don't mind erasing everything, then use full format. Otherwise, just use the quick format for a brand new card and you're all set. When you're getting ready to set up a song for the first time, there are some other things. I won't go through all of these on this video, but you want to set up your inputs so that they match where you want your uh, uh, instruments to be at. I've got the Roland. Uh, I, over here I have my, my Phantom 06, and I have this keyboard set up on channel 1 and 2. These are the channels that I'm using for the Roland channel one and two and these the red and black cord back here are the inputs from the Roland so this would be input A and B I don't know if you could see that A and B when you go to the sign up here you'll see that my assignment for one and two is A and B right there and then I have other channels channel three and four five and six are all assigned C and D and so on I have some different channels assigned to different inputs because one of these inputs back here, input H, is for guitar. So this is an input for guitar. There's also a preamp on the back that you can set it on the back. So if you, I don't know if you can see that in the back or not. There's some inputs back there. I'll take pictures of this. And these are microphone. This is a microphone. Uh, microphone guitar so this is my guitar input these are two mics you also have phantom power that you can use if you want it I have my keyboard on one uh, a B C and D so a and B is the Roland B and C is the Korg I have the Korg on B and C the, the uh, Kronos uh, when I get ready to record I just hit the buttons right there turn them red and then you'll see on the uh, meter here that C and D are showing levels. 
switch that off. Let me go to the Roland. Uh, there we go. Now I got levels. I'm playing the uh, Phantom over. Let me play the piano. So you'll see the levels come up. Here are the levels for the Roland Phantom. All right, so the Phantom is on input A and B. Korg is on C and D, but I'm not gonna use the Korg for the song today, so let me just turn those off. When you are recording your a song on the Tascam for the first time, you wanna set this up so that it's ready. So you're gonna go into the menu and look for song, then hit enter right here on F4. Now I've already created a file here, but let me show you how to do that. Go in to where it says load, create, and use the little white wheel here. And I wanna create a song. So I'm gonna create a song. Let me hit this button here to input. And then you're gonna give your song a name, call it anything you want. I'm gonna just call this song number two. Then you use the little cursor buttons here to, to move around. All right, now I like you see it says 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. That's kind of a standard setting, but I like to up it to the 24-bit and 48 hertz. That's just my preference. It does take up a little more memory space on your card, but it makes, I think it makes the song, it sounds better. But that's personal preference, and you're welcome to use whatever settings you want to. When you're ready, hit yes. All right, now you'll see when I'm done with this, that it says song one and song two. Song one and song two are ready to record on, but today I'm gonna to use song one. All right, so we are ready. Up in the screen, it tells you how many minutes of recording time you have. Remember, this is a 32 gigabyte card, so it says approximately 61 minutes of recording time. My last SD card, I was able to get about 14 or 15 full songs on it before I just decided to pull it out. I think there was a little bit more room on there. I could probably squeeze a couple more songs, but uh, that's just a rough estimate. Right now it says 61 minutes of recording time. All right, so I'm gonna set up track one and two for the Phantom. And the Phantom is on A and B. And I have a little song over here. Let me show you. So I've set up a song here on my Phantom. Just a real simple song with uh, six different instrument layers and percussion. There's my percussion. All right, then I have a, uh, the piano. And over here I can control each sound. Here's the piano sound on tra tra track one. Track two is the bell. Okay, track three is the synth bass. So that's track three. Track four is the strings. Um, track five is choir. And track six is, this is a synth pad, Shine is called. And of course, track eight is my drums. So I've got everything recorded and I'm gonna set this up to record my song. So let's go to the Tascam. When I'm ready to record, I'm gonna hit play and record. And I'm gonna start my song here. There's my levels. There's my time. All of this is recording as I, I'm doing this.
And I'm gonna stop my song. My song's finished. Voila. All right, so I have a song that's about two minutes and 19 seconds. Now, I could have used more tracks if I wanted to layer different sounds, I could go in here and set up these uh, tracks so that I can continue to add more instruments and more sounds. When I get ready to do the mix down though, that's where this little button comes in handy. Right? But I'm just gonna use this, these two tracks right here. So the first thing I wanna do is go to the end of the song, right about there. All right, that little drum sound was my cue. So 2.15 is going to be the end of my song. Two minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm going to press mark set out. And you'll see it says out at 2 minutes 15 seconds. So that is the end of my song. I need to do this before I can mix down and master my song. So I'm going to push mix down. Now it's going to go into mix down mode. So right now all I have to do is hit play and record and it's going to record my song i can play with my faders if i want if i have different tracks i can adjust each track to different levels while i'm mixing down Adjust the faders if you want. Turn them up louder or softer. Awesome. Song is still recording and mixing down, but watch what happens up here. The song automatically stopped, so I'm good. That's I need to stop right there. Now I'm going to hit this button again for the mix down or the mastering. Watch, watch what happens when I hit this button. Now I've got some mastering tools that come up. So at this point, the the Tascam has already saved a wave file on the SD card. Now I'm going to create a mastered file. If I want to, I can go in here and turn on the equalizer while I ma master, or I can use the compression. The compression is on, and I'm gonna also normalize it. Use compression and normalization, not the EQ. Hit that, say yes, I'm sure I wanna normalize it, and then give it a few seconds to complete the task. When this green bar goes all the way across, it's finished normalizing. And it takes a few seconds. Um, the longer the song, the longer it will take. But when you're finished, when it finishes, your final WAV file will be saved on the uh, SD card inside the Tascam. So you're gonna wind up with two files. There it is, it's all done. Yes. Go back to the home. Oh, I have to hit this button again to get it out of the mode. There we go. Now at this point on my Tascam are going to be two files. One is gonna be a the first wave file with the initial raw um, mix, and then the second one is gonna be the mastered mix that's gonna have the normalization and compression added. And I'm gonna take those in a minute and show you on the um, desktop what they sound like and look like. There's also gonna be 24 files saved along with that because when the Tascam saves, it saves every channel to the, to the uh, SD card. Not that I used them, but in case you did, if you used all 24 tracks, all 24 tracks are gonna be saved on the Tascam. That way you can take the files from the card and put them into like a DAW, a, a digital audio workstation if you wanna work with those individual tracks. All right, so here's what you're gonna do now. I'm gonna get my laptop open, and what I wanna do now is go to the menu and scroll through here, look for USB. When I press this button right here, it's going to save, it's going to export the song that's on here into the 
laptop and you're going to see a file pop up here in the corner. Now, a couple of things before I do this. You need to have a USB, I think this is called a USB MIDI, MIDI B cord. And you can get these on Amazon. I'll put a picture of it on the video so you can see what they look like. It goes in right behind the screen here down below. And you can kind of feel for it. You just plug it in and it goes on. I kind of know where it's at because it's by the right side of the screen just about an inch below. All right, so what I'm going to do is hit USB. I'm going to export this. And it says USB not connected, push yes to enable. And then watch what happens. It's going to pop up here on the screen. And there it is, it popped up on the screen. There's the file from the DP24 SD right there. You just click on that, open it up, go into your music folder song number two you're going to go into song number two and you're going to see a wave file here that says z wave this is the first wave this is the second wave and then there's two tracks so let me explain this song 0002z wave is the first uh, wave file that was mixed down that's the raw file the one that says wave with no Z in it, that is the, uh, that's the one that I just mastered. I can take this and export it to my desktop, copy, and so I'm going to copy, and then paste it to my desktop. There it is. All right, so what I did, what I just did is I took the uh, song file here, the WAV file, and I dragged it into Audacity. And then what I, what I do that for is so that I can do any final uh, mastering or mixing that I want to do. So the, there are two ways to uh, transfer your songs from your Tascam to your laptop by using the USB cord that I showed you. It goes from the back of the Tascam over to your laptop, uh, connects into your laptop. And it's a USB Mini B. I'll show you a picture of that. And then when you get it on your laptop, you can send it to your digital audio workstation or you can put it in Audacity and do any tweaking or editing that you want to do there. And I'll show you that. I'll just play a little bit of it here so you can see it. Now here's the file in Audacity. I'll play the file that I just recorded. All right. So there's my file right there, the song I just did from the roll-on. So in just a second, I'm gonna go take the SD card out. The other way that you can transfer files is to remove the SD card and plug it into your laptop or to your desktop. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I've taken the SD card and plugged it into the back of my desktop. And so here's my SD card. This is actually my SD card, my old SD card. So let me open it up and show you what's in here. These are some songs that I've recorded and saved on the Tascam. This is one of my recent songs, Audio Morphosis. So as you can see, I have lots of tracks here. All of these WAV files are all from the different tracks and different layers that I added in there. Now I don't need to use those, all those little tracks, but they are songs. Some of them have music on them like this one. All right, so there is music on those WAV files. And let me play this one and see what's on here. So remember what I said, the one file that's waved with a Z, this is the raw file. Listen to the difference. Here's the raw file. turn it up just a little bit it actually is almost full volume let me play it again this is the raw file that's the opening of the song now listen to the mastered file you'll hear a difference If 
that's coming through on the recording, but there is definitely a difference between the raw file and the mastered file. At least on my end, I can hear it. I don't know if it's going to come through on the video or not, or not. Sometimes when you record on your screen like this, it doesn't always pick up the audio very well. But there is a definite difference. It's like the difference when you go in on a photo editor and you get a raw photo and then you tweak it and do colorization and do all the stuff that you want to do for your picture and then you save it as a JPEG or something like that and you've got your mastered picture. So there's a difference between your mastered song and your raw song. Uh, if you want to take the raw one and dump it into a workstation and, or a, like Audacity or something like that and do your tweaking there, go for it and definitely by all means. But all of these songs are going to have, when you load up a song, I actually went through and renamed all of these to match up my songs. Sometimes I just have like songs that are called Experiment. But you see all these WAV files, I could take these individual WAV files and then export them into a digital audio workstation if I wanted to work with it in a different manner. All right, so I hope this kind of explains how you can uh, record a song on Tascam and then you can either just uh, use a cable to plug it into your computer and then transfer it via the cable or you can take the actual SD card out plug it into your computer and then work with it that way. So you have a couple different options and it's really up to you. I hope this helps you guys and hope this help explain how to set up a song on a Tascam and record it and save it. Hey everybody, this is Dave from Digital Doxology saying hope you have a great day. Go out there and make some music, have fun. If you have any questions or comments about the video or you have something that I missed completely, put it in the comment section below and if it's something I know how to do on the Tascam, I'll do a video on showing you how to do that because I know I probably skipped over some steps and some of you might be like, hey, how did you do this or how did you do that? If I don't know how to do it, I will try to uh, direct you to somebody that can help you. I know there's lots of other folks on YouTube who have Tascam and maybe they have videos on there who can help you with those things as well. All right, so have a great day. Catch you later, guys. Make music. Have fun. Bye.